Hey guys, uh, Darren 5.9 Halport here. Um, quick little part two to the oxygen sensor thing. Totally forgot about this while I was doing the video. Don't know why. Um, big thing. Um, if you do get one of those codes and you clear the code and for some reason it does not come back, at least while you're driving in that, that, that's, specific time that like 20 30 minute area um i'm sure a lot of you guys probably don't live as far away from town as i do i live like 25 minutes from town so you know that that's my my little area of like figuring okay you know did i did i fix it did i not but um if you get that code and you clear it and then you start it up again and it doesn't come back but it does take, like, way longer to crank over than usual. That is also a telltale sign of the P0134 code, I believe it was. The no activity code. If for some reason, um, I, 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 I did show you guys the O2 sensor. I'll show it to you guys again here. Let me see if I can show you. There is a, a wire on there. Out of the three wires, one of those wires was damn near, like, gone. Just a couple of pieces hanging on. So I think what happened was it it just, they, they finally all broke and it didn't, it didn't see it anymore. But if for some reason you have a very similar issue, if you haven't looked under there yet and you get that code and then it goes away, but you're cranking it over and it takes more than like two little -na 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 to start up, whether in your cold, hot, whatever. If it takes you probably like five to 10 seconds to start it up and then it starts up, fine um that is also a telltale symptom of what i had was that was going on um from what i've gathered and what i've figured out from that is basically um since that o2 sensor is not reading what's coming out of there because it's gone technically because it's not reading anything um it, the the engine will like overfuel it or maybe even under fuel it. I can't tell you for sure what is going on, but um, I believe it's just it, it's it's too rich or it's too it's very rich or very lean starting it, and so it won't crank over because it's either doesn't have enough fuel or has way too much fuel. So if you're having that problem as well, that can also be a part of the O2 sensor system. Um, if that is your only thing and you've gotten that code and it doesn't come back, do go under there and check wires, check everything. If wires look at, and, and the wires are, the wires you have to check are only going to be right there by the engine. Um, Unless for some reason you think you have like a rat problem or a, or a squirrel problem or something and people are like burrowing under your hood and shit like that. Um, other than that, um, like my wires, like I could tell that shit right when I look through the wheel. Well, I didn't even have a jacket up. I could look through and see that O2 sensor like I showed you guys in the previous video. I could see that wire was like, eh. And I believe I said in the last video, but um, I was just like, oh, I wonder how long it's going to be before this goes. Um, yeah, if you have hard starting like that, like it, it takes a little while to start, do check that because I believe what it's doing is it's either super lean or super rich and the engine's not like like the ECM's not liking what it's seeing so it's not cranking over because it's either way too much fuel and it's like drowning out the spark or it's way too little and it's not enough to spark up um but that's just a little part two to that I really hope that helps somebody too um hope that helps you guys uh please like subscribe and see you on the next one